Hey gun guys, welcome back to Knockloose 454. Check out my tray and canopy. So in this video, um, we're camping up in the Murray and I thought it'd be the best time to review um, my Piranha tray and my TC Boxes canopy. Um, in this video, we're gonna talk about all of it. Um, talk about the install, talk about the quality, talk about the dimensions and to see if you guys uh, want to buy a TC Boxes uh, canopy as well as a Piranha tray. So let's get into it. Hey guys, before we jump into this video, here are some chapter marks. If you want to see some particular parts of the tray or canopy, you can skip to these times here. But let's install the tray first, I'm so keen to show you guys. Alright, so today's the day, so we're going down to Prana off-road in uh, Baronia and we're going to drop my car off and get a new tray, so I'm so keen. It's been a big day coming, so let's get into it. Going through Prana was such an amazing experience. Michael and his team spent so much time with me making sure that the tray was perfect for all my needs. They catered for all my requests I had for the tray and ran through everything before installing. We left Prana off-road so they could get hard at work installing my new aluminium tray. The boys kept me in the loop the whole time sending me update photos of the installment. Great work guys! They were able to install my tray in one day. This worked out perfect for my busy work schedule as I heavily rely on my youth for work. At the end of the day, Shaden and I returned back to Prana to see all the hard work they put in it. I couldn't be more happier with the customer service, the quality and the price I paid for the installment and the tray. Alright guys, so let's talk about the tray. So this is a Piranha tray by Piranha Off-Road. Uh, this is the alloyed version. Now they do offer also a steel version, um, but I opted in for alloy because my car is going to be built up as a tourer um, and you know, just a weekend warrior here and there. But um, well, as you can see, I've hit a couple of bog holes at the moment, so that's why she's a bit muddy. But um, that's why um, I opted in for alloy, just to save a little bit more weight. Now, Prana says that um, by going alloy, I've shaved off about 80 kilos. So the steel tray is about 80 kilos uh, more heavier. Um, and in my opinion, that 80 kilos goes a long way. So think about, you know, that's roughly another person, another human in the back that I've just shaved off. So um, that's why I've gone in for the alloy. Now, uh, let's quickly have a quick rundown on the tray and then we'll go around and talk about the dimensions. Alright, so let's measure the tray. So if you're a guy, you've probably got one of these in your bedroom. So whip them out and I'll show you how to measure a tray. Um, now, um, from outside to outside, from, so from the headboard to the front, whoops. Nice 
1900 uh, mil mark. Uh, so that's included the headboard, but without the headboard, she sits around about the 18, 18, 1820, um, so from 1820, uh, from the headboard to the end of the tray, that's how long she is. Now let's talk about the whip. From outside to outside, she's about 1870, 1875, um, so she's quite a wide little tray. Um, I opted in for the eight, uh, the 1800 uh, long tray due to essentially being able to have more options, being able to run almost any size canopy I want to. Um, yes, I do have a lot more overhang um, over my um, chassis, but I've opted in for this canopy, and I'll get into that onto the canopy side. So she's only running, so she's essentially where a 1600 mil ca uh, tray would sit. So I've got around about, about 320, 320 mil of overhang from a canopy to the back. So that, um, believe it or not, I use this little section all the time. I chuck gear on it, I chuck my tires on it, I've chucked jerry cans on it, and uh, it's a very handy space and all that. So sometimes if you don't want everything in your canopy, all right, let's just have a quick once over around the tray and we can, um, I can show you around it. Now, I do apologize for being a little bit muddy. I got a little bit happy around um, a bog hole um, during the day. I'm drenched, um, my, my car inside is covered in mud. But hey, um, today's video is about the tray, not me, it's bitching about a bog hole. Um, now, the tray's got some awesome tie down points. Now, I use them all the time. Um, tying down stuff, um, more so because I don't have roof racks yet. Um, I'm able to chuck a rope up and over and just tie them down. A lot of trays these days don't really have tie downs um, near the wheel arches and all that. I don't like that. Now, I'm a tradie, um, I do irrigation for a living and um, I'm always tying stuff down. So um, that is a must have for me. That's why, that's one of the biggest reasons why I opted in for Piranha because I've got these little tie downs down here. Absolutely love them. Now, if we come around the back, um, we've got little tie downs at the um, on the actual top of the tray. Now I've got six of them. So there's two at the rear, one in the middle. There's two, well, two in the middle, and then two at the front of the uh, tray. Um, these are fantastic. We've also got a trundle drawer. So I'm going to talk about that separate, as well as my rear tail lights. Um, that is a separate piece. Now I've also opted in for these rear reverse lights. Um, these are a must uh, in my opinion. So um, Piranha was able to laser cut this. This is, does not come factory. Um, they had to modify this little section for me um, and I'm really glad I opted in for it. Um, especially not being able to see at the back, um, as you can see, um, visibility is almost non-existent. Um, so especially with reversing, I can't see Jack Dilly do. Um, but you know, with these bad boys underneath, um, it does save a lot of time. Now, one thing I do wish I did is, uh, this is hardwired straight to my reverse light. So the minute I turn on the reverse lights, they flick on now. Um, that's not an issue in, in the forest or the bush or whatever, but when you're in the city or in a residential area, I do be I will be blinding people. So I do apologize if I'm blinding you. <laughs> now, the tray also does come with tray size. Now, I've taken these off because I've got the TC Boxes um, canopy on. I don't need to run it. But um, it does. It is included in the price as well. Um, where I've opted in for a jack off canopy, but this is uh, the tray video. Uh, but I have opted in for the jack-off canopy so I can uh, chuck it on and that's where my tray sides will come in handy um, so I can use it like a normal ute. So let's talk about the rear tail light. So this does not come stock with a partner tray. Now I opted in for this. Um, I, got a, I got them literally the first release when they came out um, off a guy on Facebook. And um, yeah, th they weren't out at the moment at the time of this video is made. Uh, they are out currently. But um, I was one of the first ones um, to rock these bad boys out. I absolutely love these. Now, I call these the fishbone um, tail lights. Um, and these are absolutely amazing. The biggest downside of these um, tail lights is they're not that bright. Now, during the day, um, a car will be behind me and I'll put the brake lights on or whatever and they might not be able to see me. Shaden's um, told me so many times um, while he's been driving behind me, Paddy, I can't see you braking, so be careful. So take that, be really careful if you do get locked in for these. Um, that is one of the biggest issues. They're not that bright during the day. But at dusk and uh, nighttime, these are absolutely unreal. They look super sleek, um, especially on the brand new vehicle. Absolutely love them. Now you've got a reverse light up there, absolutely hopeless. Don't rely on it. It is absolutely, 
is as um, dull as the 79 series Land Cruiser lights. <laughs> um, not good, not good. Um, you've got your awesome um, little light up display and just your brake lights now. Um, they are a blackout, but um, I, I think they're legal. <laughs> I hope so, but um, hey, if you get done, don't blame me. Uh, but I, I am still running these ones and I am still absolutely stoked. Practicality, no, they're not that practical. Looks wise, absolutely mint. I love them. Um, but yeah, would I get them again? 100% I would, 100% I would. I might have to change um, or opt in for another set of lights, uh, more so my brake lights. So when I do brake, people can, or during the day, people can see that I am braking. Um, other than that, they are absolutely slick lights and highly, highly recommend. Um, you've got your mud flaps down below. Um, now, but these are really good. I do like these. You can, um, they've got little slots underneath here. I'll get a better video after. But um, you can move them back and forth. This is fantastic if you want to be running bigger tires um, and bigger wheels and all that. So I do like that option. Now, the only little issue I do have with this is um, I can't move this front mud flap any closer because you'll hit my cab. Um, so I need to talk to them to see how we can um, change it around because at the moment I'm running my 32 inch tires and um, when I went down to Robe, um, I was actually compressed um, against this mud flap. Um, so I need to move it forward so I don't rub against it. All right, so let's talk about the under tray trundle drawer. Now, I absolutely love it. Um, down here is where your number plate is normally kept. Now, I'm not running a number plate at the very moment due for this video is because I've got something really special um, for you guys um, planned. Um, so make sure you stay tuned because this is one video you don't want to miss. I'm absolutely stoked with the number plate I got, but I'm not going to give it away yet. I'm going to wait for the next video for that one. Um, but let's go back to the trundle drawer. We've got a single latch. Now these are lockable. Um, they give you a set of keys um, so you can lock it all up and all that. And um, that, that's a really handy feature. So let's slide it open and have a gear swatch guide. All right, so as you can see, she's quite long. She's a really long trundle draw dra uh, tray. Um, it fits all my hand tools and all my equipment that I need to. I keep pipe in here, I keep my hand tools in here and it works an absolute treat. So let's jump into the dimensions. Now I do apologize if you hear all these cockatoos. There's been a hawk flying around all day and I've been stirring the pot, so um, try to avoid them. So let's talk about the dimensions of the trundle drawer. So the trundle drawer um, is from inside to inside is 1680 long by, whoop, a bit of rubbish there. by 860 wide um, so she's quite a big trundle drawer as you can see now the depth of it is from the top of the lip up here is around about the 115 mil mark now um, the one thing I do find is a bit of an issue for me is these like all my shovels and the trench and shovels and all that sometimes when I go over a really bumpy um, road or some corrugation they bounce around a bit and they flick up like that. Now, when they flick up, um, it goes higher than the actual tray. So when I go slide it out, sometimes the lip of the actual um, hand tool gets caught on it and I can't actually open it up. So that's where a lid or something would be um, benefit, beneficial. Um, now, I've spoken to Piranha and they don't make a lid um, as of yet. Um, so hopefully they're in the works of it or I might have to make up a custom lid for it because um, it does annoy me a fair bit when I do slide open and I can't actually get to my hand tools due to one of the shovels or whatever has flicked up and it's not, it's hitting the back of the tray. Now, uh, it, ca it came with a little rubber mat, um, really, really good. Really happy with it, I use it all the time and you can put a fair bit of weight on it. Um, so. So for me, the trundle draw is a must have. Um, the Prana tray has pretty much almost nailed it. Now, I'd probably rate it maybe a good seven out of 10. Um, the only reason I'm giving it that is due to all my tools keeps flicking up and I can't actually open it. So I'm always like getting my hands in and trying to fiddle around just to flick them around. Um, the minute they put a little um, little table on and all that, it will stop that issue um, and then it'll be a 10 out of 10 out of me. The rollers on these are really, really good, really smooth. Um, the, the other only issue is sometimes when you slam it in like that, you've got to find the little latch 
and then lock it in. Other than that, she's a ripper little trundle girl. So the powder coating on the um, the tray is okay. Um, the first couple of days of me owning this tray, um, I did notice a couple of little chips um, in the powder coating. Um, the good thing with going on aluminium is it doesn't rust. Um, aluminium doesn't rust. That's the only real pro. I was a little bit disappointed with uh, more so the little corner edges. Now you can't see it because I've got mud on it, but I'll go back home and go wash it and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, now I spoke to Prana about that. Look, they they were a, a, a little bit confused why it was happening, but um, they were really good and they gave me a complimentary uh, free touch-up paint for it. Um, look, for for a couple of days in, I was very disappointed um, with the powder coating, but look, um, I haven't really noticed too much more about it. Um, it's look, it, it, it's a tray after all. Um, it's never going to be perfect. Um, but you know, after a couple of days in, I was very disappointed with the powder coating. One thing I do like about Prana tray is it's very, very modular. Um, you can unbolt certain um, screws and all that, and you'll be able to take off everything. Um, strength wise, would it be as strong as if, if it was like completely welded on? Definitely not. But just say if I do go forward driving and I completely rip off um, the tie downs here or the mud flaps or even just anything, I can pretty much unbolt it off and get some replacement parts for that. So that's a big uh, big factor when you're getting it. If you do some hardcore full driving and I do bash up some, something on the tray, I should be able to get it swapped over, um, no trouble. So that pretty much almost wraps it up for the tray. Now let's quickly talk about the, uh, the cost. Now, I'm gonna leave my own personal quote up here that I got from Prana for my tray um, and all the other extra goodies. Now, just bear in mind that my quote might not be the same as your quote, you know, inflation and everything changes. Um, so it's just a rough guide that you can look at. Now, I picked up my tray for just over $3,900 and for the price of the tray and the quality on all that, it is great value for money. I highly recommend anyone who's after an aluminium tray on more of a budget to look at the Prana off-road trays. They're built really good, very modular, and yes, are they a perfect tray? No, they're not. They're not a perfect tray, but for the price, they it is an amazing tray, and I would highly, highly recommend. The customer service is unreal. I've got any questions or problems, um, they've sorted out straight away. So um, I take my hats off to Prana Off-Road uh, for um, dealing with me and they've done an absolute um, ripper of a job and I highly recommend anyone to go see them uh, and chuck a tray on your new vehicle. So that wraps up the Prana off-road tray. Now if you have any questions regarding the tray, comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer anything. Now this review is 100% my own personal experience. No one asked me or paid me to make this video. I just want to make a complete and honest video for you all. Make sure you guys smash that like button and hit the subscribe button if you like any of our Knockboost 4x4 content as it really helps me and Shaden to make the best videos for you. Now, if you like this video and you want to learn more about the TC Boxes canopy I have on my new highlights, click the link down here. Hopefully, we'll see you on the tracks real soon, guys.